The crystals are There was a lot of I'm going to make you Then drop it right on the Into the So when the When So then they had to Green plants Okay, no, for real. In the most non-spoilery way I can say, here are my thoughts on the Make Your Mark special. Characters. They range from bland to well done. Zip's character in particular was very well done, but that makes sense as she is the focus of the special. Even though she had less screen time and did less than Sunny did in the movie, I actually prefer her as the main protagonist. Which is interesting because in the film, she barely did anything. And she barely had any character. So much so that she was my second to least favorite right above Pip. But now, she might just be my favorite character. Part of that is however due to the fact that my original favorite character, Hitch, is going downhill. He he honestly seems like a totally different character now, where before he was confident, authoritative, and mature, here he seems more like a goofball lacking in confidence and his new voice actor doesn't really help with that. Now the voice actor does do a good job playing Hitch and conveying Hitch's goofy character, but that's also part of the problem seeing as how he's just adding to that contrast. He still did a good job though. Speaking of which, voice acting. Similar to how the character's quality ranges, the voice acting does the same thing. Some of them were excellent, others were okay, and some could use a little work. Overall, I'd say it was good though. Story. Not much I can discuss without getting into spoilers, so skip. Songs. I actually like the music in this one more than a lot of the songs in the movie. At least to me, it felt like the songs in the movie were either trying too hard or not hard enough. The songs here, however, while short-lived, were still catchy and enjoyable. I am kind of disappointed that they didn't really tie into the story at all or cause any sort of character development. They were just sort of there because, oh, we need a song! No. No, you don't. Please, don't force it. It's not necessary. Animation. Yet another area where the quality varies. Sometimes the movement is really smooth and professional, but sometimes it looks like they took a bunch of shortcuts. Like a character just simply turning around, and in that motion there's maybe two frames of movement. I also noticed some scenes where characters were really expressive, while in others the characters are lacking in expression. But it's still overall pretty good. It's just that when you have scenes that look really well done, and then all of a sudden the quality drops, the bad stuff really stands out. I also have a lot of just questions and points in regards to the story, but I'm saving those for a full review. I will say though, for those who have seen it, there is a character that briefly shows up who plays literally no role in the story, but I'm sure is going to come up again soon. And it is the most confusing part about all of this. I know that's incredibly vague, but I'm hoping people will know what I'm talking about without me getting into spoilers. Overall, this special was okay. A lot of mixed quality all around, but for the most part, it was pretty good in terms of production. Most of the more serious problems I have with it come from the actual story itself, but then we are of course getting into spoilers. I also did a review of the movie a while back, so if you're interested in that, click here to check it out.